interestingly, it was the centennial, the near centennial. I think the prediction came out in 1916, but basically the centennial of Einstein's prediction that such a thing even exists. So it took a century to verify that what he predicted was correct. So just to put that in context. All right, so the way this works is, um, according to Einstein's general theory of relativity, we're, you're here, and you have, we say you have a gravitational force. I don't know if you knew that, but you do, right? I like it. Okay, and the more mass you have, the more is your gravitational force. I've had an increasing amount of gravitational force <laughs> over the last few years. <laughs> is that right? Okay. So it'll go up according to your mass, <laughs> and we can measure that, the more importantly. If you move through space and time, then your gravitational field needs to respond to that in some way because it used to be over here and now you're over there. Newton described gravity as just a force at a distance, okay, action at a distance. But he was still mystified. How could it gap the vacuum of space? What's going on? How do we know each other? How do we know about what, how, why do we know, why? His, he knew his equations worked, so he went with it. But that's some confidence. It's, it's still. <laughs> He's like, I know these are right. I can't. I can't prove it. But I, I am one hundred percent sure. I can't demonstrate it. What's going on <laughs> in the mystery of the vacuum of space? But it's working.